Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. So as you can probably see, I'm back from Sikinthos. Hmm. I have to admit, I absolutely love travelling and I've been really, really privileged to travel to really lovely exotic places and I have really spent a lot of my late teens, early twenties travelling in lots of all different places, at least once or twice a year. However, of course, because of my health problems in the last couple of years, that did have to stop. The only thing I absolutely hate about travelling is when you come back, your mood sort of hits quite a low. I don't know if it does for everybody. And I imagine if you're absolutely happy with everything in your career, or even in your background of your life, you wouldn't experience that. But for me, of course, I always find that when you're, I'd say, a week, two weeks before you go on holiday, everything is sort of put in the background. You don't necessarily have those sort of worries or those stresses at all. You carry on for what your work or your career is and you're really hyped up. You're really, really looking forward to that trip or that holiday. And I had an amazing time in Sikinthos and the Greek island of Zante I would go back to absolutely in, if someone said to me right now, I'll take you right back there where you were, I'd say, let's go. And that's the case of all of my, all of my holidays. It really, really is. Um, and I, I just, yeah, at the moment, so I've been back now, uh, I've been back a week, and it's just now, to be honest with you, I'm looking for my next big thing to look forward to, so I'm already looking at booking my next holiday. Um, and as I say, I absolutely love travelling, so I have really, really been privileged about doing all lots of really big major holidays. So for example, my 18th, I was in the Dominican Republic, five-star hotel, absolutely top of the range luxury, incredible, really had an amazing time. Mexico, my 21st, absolutely incredible. Again, five-star luxury, had an amazing, amazing time. And I, but you know, I am really, really grateful for those experiences. I'm not sort of a person which would sort of mention those and think I've done this what have you done type thing. It's part of me. I never ever walk into a room and say, I've done this, I've done that. It's an interest of mine and I absolutely love it. And it's something which I would love to continue doing into the future when I have my own family and I can share that with my own family and take them all over the world as well. Um, and yeah, I mean, that that's just a couple of places. I, I have been, I've done lots and lots of things and lots of things in regards to traveling. Um, but yeah, but now I'm not, I'm back home. Um, And of course, after you've, after you've had your holiday, then of course your mind automatically, even on that flight home, automatically your mind one by one picks up those worries and gradually get back to where you were before you've went on holiday. And that's where I am kind of at the moment. So I'm working really, really hard at work and I'm working in my accountancy and my finance sort of studying to get to where I want to be in life. Um, and of course, as hopefully everybody would know now if they've been watching my channel, I would love to be a fully qualified chartered accountant. Um, and you know, I'm not that far away. I'm really not that far away. Um, but of course, getting the opportunities and getting into that industry can often be very, very difficult. Uh, and, I've, and I've got some people in the industry who I'm quite close with, who I've got uh, um, from sort of from meeting people in the professional environment I work in. I've met people and I've sort of built up a really good rapport and a professional relationship with them. And it's good to have that. I've never quite been able to take uh, my first steps into a role in that industry. But nevertheless, I will keep pushing forward and I will probably look to book my next holiday to keep me on board with that. But what I really wanted just to mention is it's strange, isn't it, that when you come back, you've had that amazing trip and you come back and those stresses, those worries, they start to bug us almost almost immediately when we're back. So, for example, I'm worrying now about sort of we're coming up to Christmas. I get really stressed about that because I always like to go so above and beyond in, in lavish people with gifts and things in my family. I worry about that and day-to-day uh, -day things at work, my career, sort of where I am in my life. But isn't I think an aspect of all of that is normal. An aspect of worry I try to keep telling myself, and you'll probably tell that I'm in a bit of a better place for worrying and things at the moment. Of course I would be, I've just had a holiday. But I now try to keep telling myself that let's do just one thing at a time. So let's do this today and then tomorrow we've got something else we can chip away at. Or Let's, let's work at achieving this this week, next week, let's start something different. And you know, that sounds simple. Anybody would know who's in a sort of similar mind frame to me that it's not. 
Me, naturally, I like to have, I've got all these things sort of on board at the moment and I'm worrying about them and I'm sort of running with them. And if I don't get them achieved by a certain time, I'm worrying that I haven't done this. I'm worrying I haven't done that. So now I really, really do try to sort of home it all in on really trying to break it down. It's not easy and sometimes you can't do it. But I think sometimes making the time to do something really different in life or such as booking a holiday, having that time away. And of course, it doesn't have to be lavish. It doesn't have to be a holiday in Greece like I've just had. It can literally be you can have just as nice, lovely time here in the UK and you can have a lovely, even if it's a couple of days or a couple of weeks. Getting yourself away from your normal environment makes you feel so much more healthier mentally and your well-being. It really, really helps taking yourself out of your normal day to day situation really helps you. It helps your perspective on life and it helps de-stress and turn off all those sort of horrible stressing emotions. So yes, yeah. Do I feel refreshed? Yes. Am I looking forward to my next holiday? Yes. <laughs> Am I looking forward to achieving well in my career? Yes. And that's a, that's a big thing for me. That really, really is a big thing for me. Um, but no, St. Kim Foss was absolutely amazing. It was a really, really beautiful time. I'd go back absolutely in a heartbeat. Had a really lovely time. Got some amazing pictures. Um, hopefully you'd have seen a few which I've got on my video, which I've just uploaded. Um, but yeah, beautiful. Absolutely stunning, stunning time. And I do feel refreshed. But at the same time, I feel those worries on me already, even a week later, about that, oh, I need to be where I want to be with my career. And, you know, I keep telling myself that that's good. That's good because you, you want to be successful. So that's good. Um, there was something, actually, which I came across. And I was watching, actually, TV a couple of nights ago. And I think it was on, um, I can't quite remember what uh, what television program it was on, but it was in. It, it stays in my mind, so it's not my saying. It's something which I, I've heard, and I keep basing things on that. You should appreciate what you have today because tomorrow it might be gone. Now I know that sounds really, really morbid, and I don't think that means that that is that person is just going to wipe off the face of the earth. Of course, unfortunately, we do hear these horrific things, but I think I think having that sort of perspective, that enjoying the small things in life, like what we've done previous clips before on my channel. Um, really, really helps you towards your end goal, and it helps you to have that sort of honed-in good perspective on life. Um, and it's uh, and it's brilliant. I love that saying where uh, on on your journey, uh, take note of the small things. Like for example, um, I think as the saying goes, do stop and take note of the smell of the roses. They're actually quite beautiful. And to me, that translates to thinking that actually take note of the small things. They're actually really quite special, and they're really something which we should treasure. Um, and yes, that's what I try and do. So from a holiday, I've really got those things sort of ground ground down at the moment. And I really do feel good about that. And as you know, my channel is all about having the good and bad throughout the journey of life. And yes, yeah, had a fantastic holiday in a really good place. And it was just really, really great. Wonderful. And I'm already looking to my next trip. But today's clip was all about, isn't it strange that as soon as you're back from holiday, those worries click in and you have that sort of flat moment don't you that mm, what am i going to do now type thing but but no it's all good so that's until my next trip i suppose unfortunately that has to go up onto the shelf in the memory box in your mind or on your pictures on your phone or your laptop so yes had a really amazing time and just brilliant absolutely no words fail me just brilliant love traveling and just amazing. So thanks very much for watching. This was just like a short update, really just sort of hitting hitting home that we all have those sort of mixture emotions. But certainly when you're back from holiday, don't they just come flooding back, honestly? So it was just about having that sort of pinpoint sort of journal note on my channel. And there we go. So thank you very, very much for watching. I really enjoy doing this clip and I've really really enjoyed sort of making those sort of journal sort of videos and things whilst i was on my holiday and thank you very very much for watching it means the world to me that you have taken the time to watch it and until next time we will see you then bye bye now